Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Mobile Burn. Now, if you want to get a lot of these, by these I mean apps, but you don't want to spend a lot of these, and by these I mean dollars, you might want to get a little something called Apps for Sale. This basically is an app that tracks all of the sales that are going on in the Google Play Store. So at the top you have a featured section that tells you all the apps that are available and below that you have a stream showing you how old the app is, what app is for sale and uh, we're going to take a closer look at that now. When you look at app sales you notice that this app says that it's 99 cents It's typically a dollar ninety nine so that's a fifty percent discount so what you can do is you can tap on an app and if you say you know what that's a fair price I want to get that uh, you can tap on it and it'll bring you to the Google Play Store and then since I've already purchased this app it says installed but if it was a new app you could purchase it at that time but when I go back I can say you know what this is a great app but I don't want to purchase it just yet I can add it to my watch list and I it does that little gold star right there and by doing that when I click on my watch list it has like a a section of apps that I've got my eye on so I say you know what I like root file explorer but I don't want to spend $4.99 on it yet I'm gonna keep that around the great thing about the app is that it's not one-way traffic so if I'm in Google Play and I'm browsing there and I say I already have Swift key but I don't have Swift key for the tablet and I say, you know what? I like that. So I'm going to add that on. I could save it to the watch list in the normal Google Play, but I can also share it. And then when I scroll down, I go to price history, right? Okay. Now this shows me a chart of all the sales that they've had. So I say, you know what? They're not having a sale right now, but history showed they've had sales twice that I put it on. So I'm going to add this to my watch list as well and I'm gonna do that and now it's gonna be there and I can always know that when Swift key is available I'm gonna be able to get the deal on it the settings portion of the app gives you some more control over how you want it so for instance right now I have it set to a minimum of 50 percent discount maybe I want to be a little more liberal I know I'm willing to pay a little more dollars uh, so I set it to 30 percent I can also bring down the minimum threshold which increases the chances that new apps that happen to go on sale will appear I can also select which types of categories so if I'm only interested in games and I can choose you say I don't play cards and casinos uh, I don't play casual. I only play racing and arcade and brain puzzle and all of those games. Those are the only type of games that I want to be notified for. I can set that and those are the only types that I'll see. So when I go back and I refresh, you'll notice that the, the first apps that appear are suddenly different. There are more apps willing to come in and aside from the future ones that are the hot section, I get more choices. You'll also see that sometimes the deal is expired, so keep that in mind. If you see a great deal and you don't want to risk losing it, jump on it at that same time. When you go back to settings, you can also mess with the notifications. Notifications are great because it notifies you how many apps are on sale or if anything that you have on your wish list is available as well. And then you can set this to be instead of every one hour, every 24 hours. So once a day, you get a little nice notification. AppSell is a great app because it's a way for you to explore the options of what's available to you in Google Play without spending a great deal of money. So for right now, I see that this app, Zombies Runs, that's an app I was actually interested in before. And now that I see it's on sale, and you know what? Ending soon. So you're trying to get fit for the new year. Now's the perfect time to purchase the app. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase it. This is Andrew from MobileBurn.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to spend a little more dollars on these because they're good apps and they're worth it. But if you don't want to spend them all, this is a nice app to get.